Hello YouTube friends and welcome. Today I have for you another watch uh, presentation and today we will be talking about the Jacques Le Mans Porto or as the uh, model number says 1-1723C and C stands for uh, this special variant because we have A, B, C, D A stands for uh, a variant with a leather strap with, uh, with Arabic numerals dial B stands for uh, stands for leather uh, strap with uh, no numerals no Arabic numerals. Uh, C stands for this one stands for Arabic numerals with a nylon strap, and D stands for uh, nylon strap and uh, no numerals. So firstly, uh, let's look the box. We have a outer box case, and then inside. It's a paper, hard paper box with the, with the watch on a nice pillow. Okay, so let us talk like always a little bit about the company. So uh, Jacques Le Mans is a Austrian uh, company. It is a independent uh, watch brand from Europe and uh, sells in over 120 countries and has over uh, 600 models uh, currently in their catalog. Uh, they have manufacturing facilities in Switzerland, Austria and Hong Kong. Uh, they give you a wide variety of models and also price points, uh, low as uh, 150 and high as uh, 3000 uh, euros. Uh, one of the most uh, well-known ambassadors for, for Jacques Le Mans is Kevin Costner. He has also his uh, special line, which consists of uh, 13 models, and he is uh, heavily uh, involved in the design. So if you like more, you can go and search this company. Mm, okay, let's talk about the watch. So, inside box you will find your warranty card and a instructional manual nothing on the other side uh, right from the start, I want to I want to say that I'm a little bit disappointed uh, uh, regarding to specifications uh, on this watch. I have I have searched uh, on internet like always when I do my research for a, a particular piece, and I could really not uh, find uh, anywhere what movement is inside this uh, watch. Uh, on the website and also on Amazon or eBay, everywhere is just stated that this is a automatic movement. So, uh, I have to say that I have not disassembled the watch uh, just because of the uh, water resistance uh, of the watch. I don't want to compromise it. And maybe when I uh, have a problem with the watch and need to service it, then I will ask the watchmaker to to tell me uh, what's inside. But as of uh, uh, now, I have uh, some speculations, and I will uh, tell you about that uh, uh, on a later point. Okay, so firstly, we need to talk about the the size. If you see 
uh, on the description on the box we'll see uh, here it is Excel and uh, some companies use Excel on a 32 millimeter watch which uh, may be from a older uh, time uh, might be correct but in today's 50 plus millimeter size watches uh, is not so but this watch is true to the Excel uh, statement uh, the case is made out of stainless steel really uh, nothing special uh, there and the uh, maker stands or in the description on the side you can see that this is a 48 millimeter case so let's check it 48.4 but uh, I would say it can be right here 48 so down the case more than 48 which is nice if you want a large uh, let's say pilot or tool uh, military inspired uh, watch to be the thickness of the watch is nicely at 12 uh, millimeters and we have a nice luck to luck of 56 with the crown if you are interested it's a 33 50 53 and we have we should have a 24 millimeters uh, strap applied so they have used a a really nice soft nylon with nice uh, metal rings around the around the holes and this is a NATO style as you can see so probably one of the best if not the best uh, strap that you can have on a on a tool watch so you you are you are protected so maybe maybe you didn't know but uh, this uh, this trip was uh, was uh, mainly uh, used by the military and it is because if on some uh, some occasion uh, one uh, one lug would fail and the spring bar would pop out then you will not lose your watch it will still still be uh, retained by the second one okay so uh, we have a, a, a uh, the crystal type is, is also a little bit interesting on the on the web page they, uh, they have stated that, that this is a hardened Christex crystal I don't know if it is something similar to a hardlex no but uh it should be uh it should be more resisted than uh some kind of acrylic so they will give you not at this price point they will not give you zephyr i don't know why uh this is a 300 uh, euro watch msrp that's it but uh yeah and uh we have a waterproofing so water resistance is uh, 10 atmospheres around 100 meters okay now let's talk a little about about the movement so if you if you if you compare movements on on a relatively similar price point style watches and and you you hear the differences uh, in the time so in my opinion uh, in this one there should be something like a, a Miota uh, Citizen Miota 8250 movement because of the because of the rotor is uh, really loud It spins really nicely I hope you you could hear that 
but uh, in my opinion uh, at this price point there should be uh, nothing uh, less maybe uh, may maybe they could use uh, some Seiko movements but uh, the Seiko movements are really uh, quiet so I think my best guess would be they have gone with a uh, City Semiota so uh, if it is true then we have a 21 joule movement with a 30, 42 uh, hour power reserve and a stock uh, uh, accuracy of minus 20 plus 40 uh, day. Uh, this movement was released in 1977, so it is out there for a while. Okay. So really, uh, really, in my opinion, a nice uh, large watch. Probably one downside I have to mention is that the crown is not a screw down crown. Yes, uh, this is not a designated diver, but it would be nice if it was a screw down crown nice assigned crown here and I will also show you the back side so. so here we have it regular mall this is the number of the series, water resistance, automatic, all stainless steel. And yes, this is a really nice watch to customize, so you can use different varieties of straps. Uh, yes, 24 millimeters is a little bit larger than your standard 22, but uh, you can find you can find a lot of aftermarket straps and uh, Zulus and nylon bands for it. It has a really nice syringe style hands, like on some uh, Sin watches. I would like to uh, see uh, a better illumination because uh, the loom. Is on the hands and also on the indices, uh, but it's really, really weak. And also on a on a full charge, it will shine. Uh, not that good. But overall, it's a really beautiful watch. You can see with a with a, a tool styled uh, dial with no uh, no ballast so we have your date complication with a nice outer uh, minute uh, ring with uh, with your Arabic numerals so really good legible I would uh, like to see if they put maybe in the future on this model uh, bigger hands, a little bit big, and maybe if they could uh, just paint them white, also the second hand. Uh, they are nicely polished, but in my opinion, for better legibility, it will be much better if they were a little bit, uh, a little bit wider and white. But overall, really nice, uh, large option if you have if you have a, a seven and up inch wrist, then uh, it will fit you good. So, if you have any questions, leave down down leave me down a comment, and uh, I will reply as soon as I can. As always, have a nice day. Bye.